Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com here. Cabardez. Have you heard of Cabardez? I, I know a bit about Cabardez, but I can't remember uh, any time that I've sat down with four wines from the region in front of me and uh, tried, them, tried, tried them side by side. But that's what I've got today. Um, now, where is Cabardez? It's in the Languedoc uh, in southern France. If you know your southern French geography, it, Cabardez is a, a little bit that goes north and I suppose a little bit uh, west from the, the town of Carcassonne. And uh, because it is almost like on that western side, um, it's got a, a great variety mix that is, I don't think they've got it anywhere else in, in the Languedoc. Um, it's 40% what they call Mediterranean grape varieties, minimum of 40% of Syrah and Grenache. Uh, which tend to be what they make uh, a lot of the southern French stuff with, uh, or the, uh, certainly the upper end southern French stuff with, and then 40% what they call Atlantic grape varieties, so the Bordeaux stuff, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Merlot, Malbec, which here is called Cot, and another one that's called Fair. Fair means iron, so you can tell it's, it's got quite a stern grape variety, Fair Savadou. So it's got to be 40% of the Atlantic stuff, Cab Cab, Merlot, Cot, um, Fair Savadou, 40% Syrah Grenache, so a minimum of 40% of each. And what I did is when I did, sorted out the lineup of the order to taste, so I thought I'll have a look. Uh, Merlot is probably softer than uh, the, the softest grape variety. I'll do it in um, descending proportions of Merlot. So it starts off here with 60% Merlot, ends up here 40% Merlot. Chateau Juclary, 2006, Cuvée Tradition. So I think we're on 60% um, Merlot here, 20% each of Syrah and Grenache or something like that. Two things when I smell it. First of all, there's something slightly stale. Um, or I, I don't know whether it's a, a slightly problem with yeasts here, but there's a, a slightly stale, almost cardboardy edge here. It doesn't feel like it's a, corked, a cork problem. The other thing is it's, uh, um, it's got this quite, uh, quite um, bouncy, spiky fruit flavour. It feels like there's going to be uh, a little bit of the, um, the black fruits, the black currants and, and blackberries in there, but with this slightly ferrous edge, um, and maybe it's a, a bit of fair in there, maybe, um, I, I don't think, I, I, from what I remember, I don't think there's, uh, there's any of the, um, the, the Malbec or the, the um, fair savour doing the blend, but it feels like it's got a slightly stern edge here. Yeah, it's okay that it's um, it's got a bit of um, a, a bit of life to its fruit, but this slightly stale, almost um, yeah, stale cake edge to to the finish. A um, bit of bit, uh, metallic note there. I don't think it's the bottle. I just don't think it's it, it was all that great a wine in the first place. Okay, next one, Domaine de Casabon. Uh, I've got two, yeah, the two producers, the uh, Juclary and Casaban, and I've got two wines from each. Um, whereas Juclary has been there for a few years, I think this was the first vintage for Casaban. So I think we're still on 60% Merlot here. Well, it's a completely different proposition here. Um, it smells fresher, it smells much more uh, virile wine, much more vibrant. And uh, I get an edge of that uh, reduction. Uh, I've, I've spoken about reduction in, in the past. That edge, that when, when you open that beer can and it goes, tss, that smell there. Um, but when, uh, when, it, when, it, when you get a reduction with Syrah, it comes across as that, like this slightly um, sage sausage meat character, a bit of meaty uh, meatiness coming through. So I get that character here. It smells like it's going to be um, quite, not full bodied, medium bodied, but quite, but quite full flavoured. Yeah, there's some nice spice, there's some nice herby characters coming through there. Um, the Merlot's um, giving it a little bit of um, roundness, but it's the Syrah that's really carrying it, propping up that um, plummy edge of the Merlot, adding its own plumminess, maybe a bit of that uh, classic orange peel and herb that uh, Syrah seems to get in, in the longer dock. Nice one. Next one. Uh, we're back on Juclary, and I think Cuvée Guillaume de Juclary, 2004, Olivier en Fou. Aged in barrel, in other words. Uh, I think we're probably 45% Merlot here. 
It's funny, compared with the, the first Jus Clary, uh, there's two things I notice about the fruit. First of all, it feels like the fruit here is riper, uh, but it also feels like it's fresher, um, it, even though it's two years older. Yes, it's showing a little touch of maturity. It's not, go it's not remotely jammy or anything like that, but the fruit just seems to have relaxed maybe lost some of those um, angular edges that uh, young fruit can have, uh, just soften slightly, uh, but still very much alive and uh, with a bit of bounce and a bit of, uh, bit of passion to it. Yeah, I like that uh, it, it, it's got a feral, meaty edge. Again, this edge of iron. I don't know whether there's something in the soil that would be giving that, um, but um, yeah, there's this, there's this uh, iron-like minerality coming through. It's really nice wine, that. Um, it's, um, I'd, I'd say all of the first three, and I imagine it's going to be the same with the fourth, they're not what I call kiss-me-quick wines. They're not wines to um, sit and drink by themselves. They've all got um, a nice mix of... None of, them, none of them so far has been like over the top in terms of ripeness or in terms of body, but they've got a backbone of, um, of, of structure, but backbone of tannin, bit of acidity too, uh, keeping them fresh, keeping them firm. So uh, they need a bit of food. Um, I remember going to Carcassonne, um, I've been there a few times. First time I went, I was with some, with some friends and uh, we had uh, like a huge, huge portion of Castellet, but we were traveling around in a tiny Renault 5. Now, if you imagine the effect of three of us having had Castellet, tiny car, it wasn't pleasant, but um, we won't get into that. But yes, um, if you have the, this wine with some sort of cassoulet, um, you, you've got the, the freshness to get through all the fattiness in the meat, but also the depth of fruit that can cope with the, the, the strong flavours. Mm. Yeah, good wine. Last one, um, back on um, Casabon, Demoiselle Claire. Again from their maiden vintage, if I'm right in saying 2007 was their maiden vintage. Uh, and I think here we're on 60% Syrah, 40% Merlot. Um, it's got the uh, slight edge of rum and raisin. It feels like it's a, it's a bigger, fuller, meatier wine than the, uh, the, the, the regular Casabam, but it's still got this freshness, and it feels, still feels like it's got this um, iron-like minerality coming through. And that um, edge of reduction in the Syrah here, just giving meatiness, meaty herb. If you've ever smelt um, sausage meat that's really sage and onion heavy, there's, um, there's something of like that, almost like raw sausage meat that's, that's coming through here. Tannin and acidity, and my mouth's left really fresh, really entertained. Uh, I like this wine a lot. And yes, it's pepper, and it's the edge of white pepper, but of black pepper, but it's mostly the white pepper character. Really tasty wine. It reminds me, um, just in Syrah terms, um, some parts of the, um, oh golly, what's it called? The bit north of Melbourne, uh, where Craigley is, um, Macedon. It reminds me of those Macedon Syrahs. Slightly peppery, freshness to them. Haven't got that eucalyptus edge, but this is this real vibrant freshness to them. Um, and um, I'd be very interested to see what happens to that with age, because it still feels very tightly curled. That edge of reduction is going to soften, it's going to get meatier. I think the herbiness is going to get stronger. And um, very promising. Cabernet, well, the Whistle Stop Tour. Um, Appalachian, I need to find out more about. Hope you like them too.